My husband didn't even kiss me for my birthday and I can't let it go. My husband and I don't have a great relationship. He always forgets birthday, anniversaries or anything important, but usually the day of I will remind him and he will get me something. This year, my birthday was on a Sunday and I was going to go out to eat with friends on a Saturday. My husband has anger issues and Saturday morning he completely lost his mind simply because I asked him to help with our baby so I could sleep in. He was already awake so I didn't see the problem. When he said no I called him lazy and that's when he really lost it and started to act super crazy. I ended up having a panic attack and my baby was also super altered. He left, came back with a case of beer and sat on the couch and got stupid drunk and yelled orders and insults from the couch. I told my friends to just not come because I couldn't stop crying and my house was a mess and I was so nervous and upset. The next day, I woke up and picked up the house and cared for my baby. My husband didn't even acknowledge me. Finally, I turned to him and asked if he was going to get me anything or say happy birthday even. He started to give several excuses like, I don't have time. I don't have money. I get you stuff all the time. Why is today any different? I told him he could go right now. He did have money but I would give him my card so he could buy me something with my own money and I reminded him that every year I always get him something. Even if I'm broke, I'll bake him a cake. I even got him something when we were separated. He said he wasn't going to get me anything and then he left in the afternoon to go drinking with friends. I spent the day alone and cried myself to sleep. My mom and his family called and I lied to them both and said he had taken me out to eat and bought me a gift because I didn't want them to worry. I feel so sad and upset and for some reason I can't let it go. Every year I am disappointed on my birthday because he forgets but this year was the worst. He hasn't even apologized for screaming at me on Saturday. It's already been two days since my birthday and I've barely spoken to him. I just feel so angry. He's saying I'm acting materialistic, but I didn't even want anything big. I suggested he get me some flowers from Walmart or a $10 stuff animal from our local gas station. Every year I feel like he doesn't care, but this year he seriously did not even show me a little bit of affection. I have so much anger and sadness in my heart right now. How do I just let go of this? I seem to have missed the part where you say something positive about your relationship. I'm sorry about your birthday, but this isn't about your birthday. You are in an abusive marriage and it is hurting your baby. Babies don't develop normally when they grow up in houses full of screaming and stress and fear. Your husband is not going to change. You need to protect your child. I am going to say this plainly. You need to get a divorce. Go and have a conversation with your parents tell them the truth about what happened over your birthday and how long he has been behaving this way. Ask them for help. Even if help is taking care of your baby while you move out and file for divorce and custody. Get out before his verbal and emotional abuse becomes physical. This doesn't sound healthy at all. Why are you even with with him? You deserve better. Dot. Read, no visible bruises. Why does he do that? You shouldn't need to let it go. He's treating you horribly. You should really reach out to your mom or his family if they ask again because he shouldn't be treating you like that. Or perhaps even consider couples counseling. Happy belated birthday sad face. Edit. Individual counseling instead and your family not his carrot carrot please stay safe. You feel like he doesn't care because he doesn't. He's abusive. He's lazy. And he's a mean drunk. You should leave, but I'm fairly certain you won't. Why the fuck are you with him? Congrats. Your husband is a piece of shit. Sorry I couldn't read your entire post. I got up to him blowing up about you asking to take care of your baby to say this is abusive. It's not about a birthday it's not anger issues he's abusive. Please get out. You have every right to be upset and here are many red flags. First of all, you mentioned this happens for a years and also his anger issues seems dangerous. I don't want to advise, break up, because I believe stranger like me who doesn't know much about your relationship shouldn't advise that. In my opinion, he needs a therapy for his anger issues and you need to put priority yourself and also your baby safety. To be honest, he truly seems like he doesn't care. Can I ask why are you with him? Especially seeing as he has abusive tendencies and does not even want to parent his own child? 
You deserve better. You aren't materialistic if want a gesture for your birthday. Either seek counseling or take a long hard look at what your life is going to be like for the remainder of it. You need to be happy. Verbally abusive. Neglectful. And hash x200b. Divorce his ass. He sounds like a useless drunk. Why are you even with this man? This is what I never understand. You know he treats you terribly to the point where you acknowledge it in the post. You lie to other people about how he treats you so they don't worry, and you stay with him? Why? Up, ah, please leave him. You deserve so much more than this. If by letting go you mean the relationship, then yes, by all means let it go. ASAP. The following question is not for me to understand but for you and your mental health. What's your reasoning in why you need to let it go? Why are you trying to force yourself to be okay with something that has obviously bothered you? This process has repeated itself on more than one occasion no? What is it that you are trying to accomplish by forcing yourself to get over these things that hurts you? How will you continue to do this? How much further are you willing to compromise emotionally? Do you think you will be happy if you continue to compromise your emotions? Do you feel safe and secure in your relationship? These questions if you answer them out loud while looking in the mirror will show you what you really need in your life. You need to leave him he's abusive. You're not materialistic for wanting to be appreciated and he knows it. He knows what he's doing is wrong and he's acting up. You don't have to tolerate him. There are people who will make the time to spoil you a little on special occasions and not make you feel like you're asking for the moon. Give yourself and your baby the chance to find someone who wants to be part of a family. Someone who deserves your love. As they say in my family, he ain't getting it done. Please leave. He is abusive. Please please for the sake of you and your baby. Leave. You need out yesterday. If you feel like you can't tell people about how your partner is acting because they'll look at him as an abusive person, it's usually a sign that he's an abusive person. As someone who learned this the hard way, it's not easy to see when you're in it but don't dismiss the bad feelings he gives you. You don't let it go, you let him go. When I went through this my situation was dangerous enough I needed to relocate and run for our lives but your local DV shelter has resources regardless if you stay with them or not. You need a plan and strategy. Your child needs you to put the emotions aside so you can start thinking logically about this. Good luck. Just dump that scumbag already and move on with your life. Why are you still with him? He's a loser. I'm tired of reading posts where women describe their husbands or boyfriends casually as having anger issues, like that's a disability or diagnosis. It's just jargon we make up to pretend there's some excuse for them being immature and abusive. He doesn't have anger issues, he's a nasty person and a bully. I recommend you leave him. You're asking for advice like there's something you can do about him being a bad person. But there's not, you can't change people. You can only change your relationship to them. Don't let it go, it sounds like a no-win situation for you. There are many abuse red flags, please find a way out that is safe for you. Read up on domestic violence as this ticks all the flags for it, including lying to family that everything is okay. Please find someone to talk to and support you locally to leave this horrible situation. You need to leave that relationship ASAP. Sorry for not writing more advice but I'm genuinely scared for you and the baby. First of all, happy birthday, many happy returns and much felicitations. Secondly, make sure this is the last birthday you spend with your husband. He is basically already treating you as if the two of you have been through an uncivil and cantankerous divorce, so give him one. Thirdly, the only thing you should be letting go off is any connection you have to your abuser. And stop covering for him, especially with his own family. Why are you with him? Don't stay in a relationship like this. Don't know you personally but from reading over your post and comment history you seem like a sweet and caring person and a great mom who is doing her best and deserves so much more than this. At a bare minimum as a human being you deserve respect, kindness and love. Sit down and really think, is this how you want to live the rest of your life? Even beyond that, now that your baby is here, is this the type of relationship dynamic you want to model for him? Continue to work on getting your GED and leave his ass as soon as you can. You're so young and have so much life ahead of you. Don't spend it like this.
What I usually find mind-blowing is the fact that, many women such as yourself who are being treated worse than shit are usually in love with the men. I am willing to bet he hit you sometimes. You might have self-esteem issues and don't know what you are worth. Because you have been treated like crap historically, you probably think you deserve crap. The fact is, you deserve better and you can get better. You just have to want it bad enough to get the hell out. You started with, my husband and I don't have a great relationship. Why would you be with someone you don't have a good relationship with? Everything is wrong here. I'm staying in this marriage because, girl you know that you would be happier without him. Just make that your birthday present this year. You let go of this by letting go of him. I think not only you, but your baby will be better off without someone so callous and selfish in your lives. You sound so deeply unhappy. Before you dismiss this comment, remember that we accept the love we think we deserve. Do you think you deserve this? Do you think your child deserves this treatment? Respectfully, regardless of the answer, therapy could help empower you to save yourself from this pretty abusive marriage and whatever thought process that makes you think that there is any positive to staying in it. Edit, as someone who has been in an abusive relationship like this, making excuses not to leave any bad situation is the procrastination of someone who fears the unknown. In addition to what everyone else said I checked your post history and on top of this he's also cheated and his family are dicks to you? Time to pack it up girl. Take these people's advice and get out. Why did you make excuses for him to his family? He needs to go. OMG. Your husband is an abuser and a poss and you care more about the lack of kissing? Your marriage is dead. Leave before it's too late for you and your kid. All that shit and you're worried about a fucking kiss. Girl come on. Happy birthday. Up. You shouldn't have to ask your husband to care for his own child once in a while. And the screaming and drinking. Your husband is abusive. I don't think you can or should let go of this. It's okay if this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. I hope you leave him. My husband and I don't have a great relationship. Ma'am I think you mean he's abusive. Let go of this? What do you mean? You're apparently in a loveless relationship? You're meant to feel loved. Your husband does not have anger issues. He acts out with temper tantrums like a toddler and being loud about it in order to reiterate that he doesn't give a shit about you. Get that poss out of there. With a lawyer honey. That's how you let go. You should decide now if you want to enjoy the one life you have or live a slow miserable death. Why do you stay with this angry drunk sack? This is awful. You are being abused. Please, go somewhere where you can be safe. Reach out to relatives if you think they will help you. You sound like a lovely person and you deserve a lot better than this. Your life doesn't have to be this way. As someone whose birthday is today, whose husband would never, ever do anything you mentioned yours does, I am so very sorry that you are mistreated. But also, you need to leave this man. Please. For the safety of yourself and your child, and also their mental well-being, get out of this relationship. You are not safe, and quite frankly, your husband is an ass. You're asking the wrong question. You shouldn't just let go of this. You shouldn't want to. You're in an abusive marriage, it has nothing to do with your birthday or any other day of the year. He's a terrible person and an awful father. Also, according to another post, you're 19 and he's 23. And you got married at 16? Why? Plus he cheated on you, and his family is racist. I'd be really interested in finding out why you're still with this garbage man. Oh honey, this birthday thing is the least of your problems. Sure, his behavior was bad especially on your birthday but it shouldn't be acceptable on any other, less special, day either. For his behavior towards taking care of the baby, you already know there that you don't have a parenting partner, for his behavior towards your birthday present, you already know you don't have a lover or even a friend in him. And that the care and cleaning of the house is on you, you already know you're not living with a responsible adult. The question is, what are you still doing with this person? I, dot you don't just let go of this. He sounds abusive, he sounds dismissive of your relationship and you, he doesn't seem to care about anyone but himself, and he sounds like he has a drinking problem. Really I can't say this any other way, you need to leave him. This isn't a marriage. He doesn't care. Stop caring. 
Please leave this abusive relationship. Why are you punishing yourself and the baby by staying with this cum stain of a man?